Working very hard, working very, very hard on art, making it my life, making it my work, and it's been really good. I swallow so much. I like I to have a son. go he is too. up side. His name down is Aiden. It's stimulating for my mind. My whole, my whole being. That's a lot of chocolate, huh? Oh, eight o'clock. Eight I think. She might have to clean up. And <clears throat> refocus and re content and, and honing in on the, my practice of art. We live in a, in a new modern day society where women can work full time and never see their children really and it's okay. I want to believe it. I'm trying to. I can try and convince myself this every single day. Though he's two and a half, I try to say to myself, this is okay. So it's a little different probably get from the primitive, the primordial. Suffrage or suffering in the heart and, and pain thing that is an apple coming in the space and it came out. Mama, Papa! Have you Papa? Conrad left today and he moved all his stuff out of the house. Sometimes I'm just like, what the fuck am I doing when I could be home with my child? These are an idea, just an idea, an image. And this image was, the first image that popped in my head was me floating in the water. And then I draw, I draw from there. There's this incredible sadness that I'm harboring. He's obviously never, never, never away. It's just kind of like it's it sways with me. It sways with me. It comes and it goes. Most of the time, I evade it by looking away from it, refocus and, and re content and. and Honing in on the, my practice of art. to my marriage that I had with um, with another 
is that I'm going through a separation. It deals with how I felt my marriage has been is kind of like a suffrage or a drowning sensation. So To be in love forever. I, I really believed that. Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> I wanted. I wanted. Aiden. Come on, get out. Get out. She walked away, never to be seen again. She walked away. Okay. Going away, going away fast. She walked away. 